look at that. Does it get any better? This is great, isn't it? Living the dream, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs a well-appointed studio with all the amenities when you can rough it up and make history at the same time? This is what we're going to do. We're going to make a little bit of music history. Louie! How are you? You can see you, my friend. <laughs> Edward S. Auto Recyclers. Wait, wait, hey, Louie, thank you for letting us use your facility. Uh, Brian Doyle is going to join us, and we're going to do some music in here. You know, this is a perfect sound. Ooh, look, this is the echo. Thank you for letting us do this. Ah, uh, wow. And we needed something rustic and something, you know, something slightly neglected. This is perfect. Hi. How are you? I'm doing. Live the dream. June in Inverness. At the Louis Lansleeve Auto Wrecking Car Woo! Repair Studio. We're gonna have a jam. This is a real treat. It's incredible. Is it fair for me to suggest maybe you can uh, showcase a few styles of uh, musicians that people would know, like Eric Clapton, Mark Knopfler, or something like that? Is there, <laughs> is there maybe just a, a handful of licks you can do that people will recognize? You know, uh, well, well, probably BB you know, King or uh, uh, well, BB King would be very seldom do rhythm. BB King almost always had somebody else doing rhythm, and he'd play in between his vocal scenarios. So. <laughs> Singular notes, let them last. And come back to the same one. Be at the root. Well, there's maybe a rhythm. Let it be going on behind them. The thrill still. is gone. I find like this, the Knopfler, Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits has a couple of different sounds, but. I like combining what he has, that deep reverb, clean sound, and his... Uh, Finger picks, doesn't he? Uh, no, no, he uses a pick and fingers, but like, like most of us. But he does, he can use his fingers. I think he does it, well, I'm, now that I'm thinking, but he probably does. But most of his sound comes off the pentatonic. <laughs>
think it would ever clap. And then you go into something heavier, you know, with a, a page like a... Sleeve, our good neighbor, and the one that enabled us to uh, get into his shop and uh, convert it into a studio with Brian Doyle. Uh, I wonder if maybe uh, Louis can say one or two words about himself, his business, his family, anything. Thank you. So, so what, what's the name of your business? Lion Sleeve Auto Salvage. Has it always been that? Yes. Yeah. You created that? Oh, yeah. You didn't inherit that from anyone? Uh, no, sir. But you have family members working with you. Well, uh, like, yes. Even Jake, now my grandson, is here with me. And I saw him working yesterday, and he no. looks like he's being trained to maybe, what, one day take over, or he, at least... He's good, Jake, yeah. Fo follow in your footsteps? He's a great worker, yeah. That's a tough act to follow, because I see you go non-stop, whether it's a Sunday or a holiday. Louis Lansleeve uh, d doesn't stop. I, I don't work Sunday. So, I thought I've seen your truck out on Sunday. Oh, on the, on the tow. After somebody broke down, you yeah. have to go. Yeah, I've seen you, yeah. Mm. What about your family? You've got Wendy, yourself. Who else is here that looks after... You know, oh, Margie and Robert's good to help. Yeah. My daughter, yeah. That's Robert Clark and Margie. Yeah. And the girls. Yeah. What area do you cover? You know, when you get called out, I've seen you travel far and wide to uh, to look after, you know, picking up rigs and, uh, like, do you go as far as Halifax or Sydney? No, or no. What? Well, we go to Hawkesbury or Hawkesbury. Shady Camp, yeah. Yeah. Are you uh, an Inverness native? Were you born here? In the Waterford is where I was born. And how old were you when you came to Inverness? A year old. A year old? Yeah. What was that, a family decision? Well, the mines were closed, and yes. So you've been here since you're a year old. Tell me about the town of Inverness. Would you trade it for any other town in the world, or no, is this the place? that's why we're here. We love Inverness. Yeah? Yeah. What do you like about it, Louis? Well, the people around here. It's... Are the neighbors good? Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why uh, we're I, here. I would be one of the neighbors, and so is Winnie. So, you know, Louis is giving us the, yeah, you know, the, appro the neighbor here. neighbor approval. Yeah, that's why we're here, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I called you to give us uh, your space for uh, for us to record Brian Doyle. What did you think of that there, last-minute request? Well, it was too bad we had to leave. We were on our way to Shady Camp. We, we took over your place there, Louis, and uh, we tried to clean it up a little, but that would have taken a little longer than just a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. We pushed that 1950 Chevy 1300 model uh, pickup truck. Well, how would you describe that there vehicle? Is it a pickup or what is it? Pickup, that? yes. Yeah. Any other history behind that? Are you are you restoring it? Well, yeah, we're going to get her going this summer. Nice. Yeah. That collection that you have, you know, you got Chevys and Fords and Volkswagens up on the wall. Yeah, tell me about that. How did that start? Well, we had most of them cars over the years. Yeah. The, that, re the real cars. Okay, so over the years you owned a lot of those cars? Yes, we did, yeah. The 56, the 57, the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then 49 was the first one we had. 49 yeah. Dodge, yeah. Did you drive it? Yes. So what else can you tell me about the little collection? Are you going to pass it on to the kids, like maybe Jake? If he wants it, he can have or, it, Or yeah. put it up in the <laughs> <Yeah>. museum? or <laughs> No, I wouldn't. Uh, Jake could have it. Nice. You okay for me to post what I just talked to you about? Yeah. yeah you you okay so. with it? Yeah, Michael, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Louis. You're welcome. You're very, you're very accommodating. This is a special feature for the Inverness Oran, June 2018. Our good friend Brian Doyle. Every chance I get, I like to feature this incredible talent, Brian Doyle. 